UL wiring webinar this morning where we're going to introduce to you and show you quickly a way to, in, to wire up uh, our photolyzed and safety edges to three different manufacturers, gate operators. We'll get started here in about two minutes. Just wanted to say hi before we got started. Please let us know if you, if you can hear me. Just write in the chat box. Let me know that you can hear me. Thanks. Wanted to welcome you to our training today on Friday, April 19th. We're excited to have you. It's been about a month since we did our last webinar. Uh, I feel like I say this every webinar, but we are really excited for what's coming. Uh, this is the first in a line of really, really good webinars. We get calls almost every day, people asking questions about uh, making sure that they're meeting the UL or ASTFM 2200 standards with gate installation. And as you guys know, all manufacturers now are by UL325 to have at least two forms of entrapment built into the gate operator. So that's going to be done with photoized or, or safety edges, non-contact and contact sensors are the terms that they use. And so we have an extremely good line of photoized and safety edge, the actual rubber edge, and then the safety edge wireless transmitter receiver kit. We've had a ton of success with them. The prices are extremely good, lower than all competition. And so what we want to make sure is that when you're going into the field, you're confident with the machine that you're coming up to that you're going to work on and how our device, either photo wire or safety edge kit, is going to wire into that machine. We've done wiring uh, videos in the past, and today we're going to focus on three manufacturers. We're going to focus on wiring our devices into high security gate operators, door king gate operators and the maximum control gate operators, all three of which we get a lot of phone calls and questions on. So what, what the plan is today is we have three operators set up here. Each operator has a photo eye and our eye gaze RE safety edge kit on it. We went with our eye gaze 50 LR photo eye on each of these. It's a reflective eye. It's one of our best sellers. But the concept that we're going to show you today is going to apply to every one of our photo eyes that you could order. Again. The prices on our photo eyes and our safety edge kit are extremely good. 
and they're reliable. We want to make sure that you're confident that as soon as you walk away from that job, you're not going to get a call saying, our gate, gate stuck open or our gate won't close because of the safety device, which we know is a huge, huge headache right now in the industry. So let's go ahead and jump over to our website real quick where I can show you we have posted all of our wiring diagrams that we have created to date. And again, this list is always growing. We want to make sure that if you have a specific brand operator that you like working on, we want to make a wiring diagram for it so we can make you more comfortable with, with that. So if you go to under our products, the very bottom here, UL325 Solutions, this is where all of our wiring diagrams are. So you can see we have a list of our safety edge kits and our photo eyes. Something important to note, and we're not going to talk about it today, we do have a video on our YouTube channel, is there are three different types of uh, technologies that are used for monitoring safety devices. There are 10K, normally closed, and pulse. Today we are going to be talking about both 10K and normally closed, which are used by, different ones are used by these manufacturers. Pulse is used by LiftMaster and NICE, and we do have an iGaze RE kit that you can see here in the middle, the iGaze RE Pulse, and we also have photo eyes that are UL or EPL certified, listed and labeled, and will work on LiftMaster and NICE products. So that's something to keep in mind, although we won't be talking about it today. Today we're going to be talking about our iGaze RE kit, which will do 10K normally closed, and showing you how those wire up, but you can just see a quick list. And this middle photo eye, the iGaze 50LR, is the photo eye that we're going to wire up. But each of these photo eyes are going to follow the same pattern that we're going to do today. So when I click on this, you can see I have my UL wiring diagrams. Today we'll, we will be focusing on the Door King 4620 wiring, the high security smart control wiring, and the very bottom, the maximum controls wiring diagram. The maximum controls board that we're doing is the Matrix 3 board. Uh, that's their newer board. And so we're going to be focusing on that. But we also have <coughs> other wiring for Door King, Nice, LiftMaster, Buy-In, Allomatic. And this list always grows. Please give us feedback of the next operator you want us to do. As soon as we have a couple people say, hey, bring in this brand, we buy an operator, we bring it in, we wire our stuff up, we make a wiring diagram. So just so you guys can see here, uh, we're not going to start. We're not going to start on maximum controls, but you can just get an idea that what we've done is tried to make this as simple as possible for you as the installer to go out and hook these up in a matter of minutes and, and get off the job. So we're going to dive into this. We're going to zoom in uh, on the actual operator we're going to start on. But the operator we're going to start on is high security. So one of the really cool things that we've done with high security is we've given you a very simple uh, manual for actually going into their menu and changing the sensors. They have three sensor inputs on their board, and all three of those can be adjusted to eye open, eye closed, edge open, edge closed, or not used. Um, and so we've given you a very simple uh, diagram for how to do that, how to get into that, and how to adjust that. And then here at the bottom, you can see we've given you eye open, eye closed, edge open, edge closed, and how we do that. Now, a quick note on our um, iGaze RE kit. The iGaze RE kit used to be, uh, the iGaze RE kit has the transmitter and the receiver. The transmitter used to have six dip switches, um, but we have changed it to only have three. The old iGaze RET, which is the transmitter, had six dip switches because you could change it between monitored and non-monitored. We had to change that um, to get up to date with the UL regulations. And so now it only has three dip switches. Those dip switches are monitoring 10K, uh, 8.2K edges, OK? So we just wanted to make you aware of that. Can everyone hear us OK? If you guys would just write in the chat box and let us know if you can hear us. We've been being told that the volume's not great. Let me adjust my mic here. Better? Is that better? Can you hear me OK? Sorry, guys, I got this stupid mic. I'm actually just going to hold the handheld mic here for a minute, see if that's improved it. All right, let me know if that improves it. We just got told by someone that the volume was too low. Okay, so let me know if, our, if we're having volume issues, and I'll keep going. Say, we're saying a little bit better, not much. Maybe try turning up your speakers. That was a joke, haha. -ha. <laughs> we would never blame it on the customer. Okay, let us know if you're having volume issues. This is recorded. So if you're having volume issues, hopefully we can uh, post it on YouTube and 
maybe between now and then you can get a new set of speakers. Okay, so uh, keep in mind we're always changing and adjusting to meet current requirements. Okay, I got the thumbs up that our volume is better, so that's good. Um, but we want to make this as simple as possible for you. So again, I'm going to get us in and out of here pretty quick. We know it's a Friday for a holiday weekend, so we want to get you out of here. So what I've done is we have taken, and we'll zoom in here on the high security operator. This is the high security slide smart gate operator with their smart DC control board. I have two devices wired up to this currently, which is the minimum required. And this is going to be a little bit hard now that I'm holding this mic. But I have our eye gaze RE receiver and transmitter kit wired into an edge, which if you're not buying uh, the edges that we sell, I would highly recommend that you do so. These are cut in the field to any length, no glue required for assembly, great cost, really reliable, good uh, edge. And if you're not buying our transmitter receiver kits, I'd recommend that too because we mess with them every single day and we've had really, really good success. So, And then I have our iGaze 50LR photo eye. This would have a cover and a hood. I've just done this so we can see the wiring. And I have them wired into the high security SlideSmart DC control board. So let's go ahead and start with the iGaze RE kit. Now, the iGaze RE kit, when wired up to a high security board, is different wiring than anything else that you're going to wire this up to. The reason being is that on the high security board, when it goes through a cycle, it actually completely powers down. And in order for us to, to meet the requirements of being able to power back up fast enough and monitor before the gate starts closing again without throwing a fault, we have to use what we call test C, which is on the far right-hand side of this board. Test C is going to wire into their sensor common, which is the third from the bottom, sensor common. Okay, And I'm going to show you this on the wiring diagram, too, so it'll be a little easier to see. And then you have to... We, we jump the test one and the test two. And again, this is all for basically power cycling reasons on the high security board. And then you're gonna then you're gonna wire it up pretty normally from there. You're gonna take your normally closed, which is my green, and you're gonna go into your sensor one, sensor two, or sensor three, which are all labeled labeled on the board. Okay. You're gonna take your common, which is my white. And that is going to go up to one of the many commons that is allowed on the high security board. And then you're going to take your negative power and you're going to put that negative power into the same common as your relay common. And then your positive power is going to go into their 24 volt uh, po power on their board. Okay, And I'm going to show you this all on the diagram real quick after I explain it with the photo eye. That's all that you have to do. But again, you're going to want to remember the test C and the jump, or excuse me, the, yeah, the test C and the jump are between test one and test two. That's what allows us to power down, power back up with their board and continue monitoring. And I'll show you that here in just a minute. Now, the other important thing to note is your dip switches. We have six dip switches on this iGaze RE receiver. The only dip switch that will be on when wired into a high security gate operator is dip switch one. Dip switch one will be on. Two, three, four, five, and six are all off. Okay, dip switch one on, two through six off. And now you can see that I'm working. In order for you to know that this is working properly, lights on the high security board are a good thing. You want lights on your sensor inputs. You can see I have a light on my photo eye uh, or sensor two, which I'm wired into, and a light on my edge, sensor one, which I'm wired into. This is opposite of the other two boards that we'll talk about where lights is a bad thing. On the high security board, Excuse me. Lights is a good thing. So you can see if I press my edge, that light will go out and the light will come back on. If the light is out, the gate will not run. I if it's an open edge, it won't open. If it's a closed edge, it won't close. As soon as that light shows up, that means the gate's operational. Now, in order to program the iGaze RE, all you're going to do, I'm going to clear it out. I always suggest you clear it out first to start. We have a red learn button here on the right-hand side. I'm going to press and hold this. I'm going to hold the mic up so you can hear the beep. Okay. 
I held that learn button down for about 20 seconds until I heard one long beep, okay? Now you can see that my light has gone off on this board, meaning that there is no safety device being recognized by the sensor one, and this gate wouldn't work. It would say there's an error. So in order to program this in, I'm gonna program into relay one, because that's what I have wired in. I'm gonna press and hear one beep. I hear the beep, and now I'm gonna press the corresponding button on the transmitter, which I have my safety edge wired into button one. So I'm gonna press the button. You cannot trigger, you cannot memorize in the transmitter by triggering the safety edge on the first time. You have to physically press the button. So now that I've pressed the button, it's learned in there, you can see my light is on and I can press that, and you can see the light go off, meaning it's working. Now, if we jump over to the, the photo eye, the photo eye is a little bit easier wiring. You don't have to worry about the test, any test buttons, test C, anything like that. You can see my sensor two light is currently off because my photo eye is not aligned with, with the reflector. Um, but all I did for wiring here was the negative power or black wire into the sensor common on the high security board. The positive power from my photo eye, input two, to the 24 volt out on the high security board, which is second pin up. My green wire is normally closed, which is going to sensor two on the high security board. And my white wire is the relay common, which is going to, uh, as you can see, the sensor common. Okay, so that is just your standard wiring. Now. I've got a sensor in here, so you can see my lights are on. Both my lights are on, everything should work. I'm gonna go ahead and open this gate. Gate opening. Gate closing now because I triggered the eye. The gate will start opening again as it should. And, and the edge is not gonna affect the gate opening because it's a close edge, but you'll see what it does on the close edge. So the gate's still open, it's reached its limit. It's going to time out and start closing. Gate's closing now. Gate opening because I triggered my edge, and it's that simple. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump to the wiring diagram on the computer here, and I'll just explain to you a little bit cleaner what I've just done. So all that I've done is I wired up a close edge here in the bottom right. I made sure that all three of my dip switches in the transmitter for the iGaze RE kit are off, or excuse me, on, I'm sorry, and dip switch one on the receiver is on, and two through six are off. The dip switch is red, as you can see from the legend below, okay? All of the dip switches on the transmitter are on. The only one on on the receiver is one, the rest are off. Now, I'll walk through the edge again, and this is gonna, this is gonna work for close edge or open edge. Any safe eye gaze RE kit that you wire into high security, you have to do this. And again, you wanna make sure you're, you're paying attention to the test one, and, or test one, test two, and test C. So we'll look at the edge close because this is exactly what we just did. The first thing I always do is I take a small jumper wire and I jumper test one and test two between each other, okay? Now that I have that jumper wire, I'm gonna take another jumper wire and jumper the test two, which is jumpered to test one, over to my 24 volts power, and then into my iGaze RE, and then run that to the 24 volts power on the high security board. That's taken care of. Again, the reason we have to do these jumpers and these weird things with test one and test two and test C is because the high security board on a full open power cycles and we need to make sure we're fast enough and, and going at the same speed as they are when they power cycle that. Now I'm gonna take my test C from my iGaze RE into my sensor common, okay, on the high security board, and then I'm gonna take my common one to a common up top on the high security board, also followed by my negative power into the same common as my common one on the high security board, not the sensor common. Sensor common is your third uh, input up, the other commons are all at the very top of the high security board. And then to finish it off, I'm gonna take my normally closed, and I'm gonna put my normally closed into sensor one, sensor two, or sensor three, depending on where I'm gonna wire it up for the edge. Now the photo eye is a lot easier, you don't have to worry about all those test buttons. All I'm gonna do is take my 24 volts power, this is for eye open or eye closed, 
put it into the 24 volt or second input to the top, second input from the bottom on the high security. My <coughs> negative power from the photo eye into sensor common, my common from the photo eye into sensor common, and my normally closed into sensor one, sensor two, or sensor three. Very simple. We've sold a lot of these for high security and had a lot of success. Again, the price is fantastic, the reliability is great, and we're trying to make the wiring as easy as possible, but it's pretty easy. So, any questions on high security before we move to dorking and then maximum controls? Again, we're going through this pretty quick. I don't want to take up a bunch of your time. Any questions so far? There's a little lag, so I'll wait for a minute. Okay, doesn't look like we have any questions so far. So let's go ahead and jump to door king, and then we'll jump over to the maximum controls. So door king is, real quick, I forgot to mention, the high security board, uh, the technology they use for monitoring is normally closed. The door king is going to be using 10K, so we wire things up a little bit different than the high security, which is normally closed, but all of our photo eyes and our eye gaze RE kit is interchangeable between normally closed and 10K. We can monitor both of those devices, so we'll work on any operator that needs normally closed or 10K. Again, I have the same wiring done here, or the same products used here. I've got the eye gaze RE kit with the eye gaze uh, transmitter down here, and then I've got the eye gaze 50LR photo eye. Okay, and I'll walk you through how I've done it on the board, and then I'll walk you through uh, on the wiring diagram how it's done. Now, something to note is Dorking has a set of four dip switches right here. A little bit hard to see. These are their UL dip switches, and their UL wiring terminal is at the top. It's a 10 terminal pin. And their lights are here. I don't know if you can see it through the wire, but they have their alert lights here for UL. So UL dip switches, UL alert lights, UL wiring terminal. All of those are what we're going to be focusing on. <coughs> lights on the high security, if you see a light here, that's a bad thing. That means the gate's not going to run. Opposite of uh, high security. High security lights are good. Dorking lights are bad. You can see that that light's on. And if I was to cover, if I was to align this, it would go out. All the once all the lights are out, sorry, I'm not being very steady. Once all the lights are out, this gate will run. Okay, I'm gonna set that down. That light will come on, saying the gate won't work either in the open or the close because one of our devices is messed up. In this case, it's light one corresponds to sensor one, which is my photo eye. So, all I've done here again, this wiring is gonna be a, uh, much simpler. First, let's take a look at the dip switches because this is a 10k device. Dip switch one, two, three, and four are all turned off. You do not have dip switch one on in this case. Dip switch five is on, and dip switch six is on, which is 10K, saying relay one is 10K and relay two is 10K. In reality with this install, because I'm only using relay one, only dip switch five would have to be on. Relay two is not being used. So relay five is saying, or excuse me, dip switch five is saying relay one is a 10K output. Dip switch six is saying relay two is a 10K output. So just to make it easy, we've done one through five, one through four dip switches off, five and six on to show um, that this is 10K output. So we're outputting 10K. We're taking our far left terminal positive power into the third terminal down on the right hand side, which is positive power. The common for power is the first terminal here, which is power, uh, common power. The white wire, our relay common, in this instance, is going into one, two, three, four, five, or in, in this case, six. The sixth input on the UL wiring terminal for the door king, and then my normally open, and this is important to know, for 10 case monitored devices on our photo eyes and safety edge kits, you are using the normally open into, in this case, their sensor input, which is input four. Okay, so normally open on my device, the eye gaze RE and the photo eye is going into their sensor input. And then we learned this in uh, the same way we did the other one, press the button, hear the beep, and then press the physical button on the transmitter, one or two, depending on which one it is. Okay. 
Now that is going to be operational, and I'm gonna actually program it in because, let's go ahead and program this in. So I'm gonna press and hold. I hear the beep, and now I'm gonna push the button on my photo eye, or sorry, on my safety edge. I'm all sorts of confused, I got too much going on. Okay, and then this will learn itself in. So I'm gonna go through that step one more time. Hear the beep. Okay, so all I've done now on this, I've actually had a wire come loose on this. That's what's going on. Uh, all I've done on the photo eye is the same thing. I've taken my negative power to their negative power on the board. I've taken my positive power to their positive power. My common to their five, fi their five and six on the UL325 wi uh, board wiring input is their commons. And my normally open, again, because this is a 10K gate operator, is going to my normally open to their s sensor input. Okay? So you can see that I would be able to run this gate if I align these, but I've only got one hand. This gate would run. So let's go ahead and jump over to the wiring diagram on our website. And I'm, I went off the Dorking 4620 wiring. And again, we've given you a nice layout to show this is the UL325 wiring uh, terminal that Dorking uses, which is up top. They have their four dip switches for up to four sensors. And then their lights, which are going to show, yes, this is ready to go, or no, it's not ready to go. On Dorking, lights are a bad thing. That means it won't run. Now, <coughs> one of the things that we're going to be updating right after we finish this webinar is that our, the 10K resistor, which used to come in a packet with our photo eyes, is now built onto the board. Again, that's a UL thing as well. And so when you see this resistor on the manual, this will be going away because it's built onto the board and you don't have to worry about it anymore as the installer. You just wire it up and you're good to go. You don't have to put a resistor in it anymore. So for the photo eyes, Open or closed beam, again, the only, the open and closed beam is always determined by the operator, where you're wiring it up to on the operator. Our photo eye wiring stays the same. You're always going to take our normally open uh, for this door king specifically because it's 10K into their sensor, whether it's their sensor open or sensor closed, the common into their common, and then find where they have, where they use their positive and negative power for their safety devices. In this case, it's on the right-hand side of the board like we showed you. So it is four wires for the photo eyes on the door king, which makes it very simple, which you can see there. For the safety edge, again, you're going to find their sensor inputs, and then you're going to use our normally open because it's 10K into their sensor, and then our common into their common, and then find power. And then make sure you turn the dip switches on for the sensors that you're using on the door king. And then the last note for the door king is lights are bad. If you see lights, the gate is not going to work, and either it's either not going to open or it's not going to close, depending on uh, what light is on, and that will show you which sensor is having a fault. But again, these work great with the door king. We sell them a lot for the door king. We've had a lot of success. And the wiring for the door king is four wires on both the iGaze RE Safety Edge kit and the photo eye, which makes it really nice. Again, remember to use the normally open from our device into the door king board because we're 10K. Any questions on dorking before we move on to the maximum controls? And again, this is recorded, so don't, it's like drinking from a fire hose. If you miss something, don't worry too much because we'll post it on our YouTube. But any questions on the dorking? <coughs> okay, we don't see anything, but again, stop me at any time. Alex is monitoring the dorking. So let's go ahead and jump to the maximum controls. For the maximum controls, we have done the wiring diagram for their Matrix 3 board, which I believe is their newest board. Um, and they've done a couple things different than the other two manufacturers. They offer in two spots on their board, either normally closed or 10K. You can choose which technology you use. The top sensors here is normally closed. These come pre-programmed from the factory. There is nothing you have to do except plug in your sensor to get the lights to turn off. Lights off in this is a good thing, okay? So the UL sensor normally closed comes pre-programmed. 
if you don't plug something in, the gate's not going to run. Once you wire it in and these, these lights go off, you're good to go. This light is for 12 volt DC, so is this light. The bottom UL sensors 10K is not pre-programmed from the factory. You, if you're going to use this terminal, which is blue, uh, you are going to need to program them. And I'll show you how to do that. It's really, really simple. All you're going to do is press and hold, open and stop. Okay. Now, you've heard, you can probably hear that. It's beeping. And what it's doing, you can't see it, but it's turning on and off my safety devices that are wired into here off of that 12 volt and that ground. It's turning them on and off because it's auto detecting them. So once I know it's got them, I'm going to press stop. Okay. And it's going to go ahead and it's going to automatically find those and then you're done. That is only for the UL sensors for 10K. Normally closed comes pre programmed. All you have to do is wire them in. So what we've got is we have a 50LR, like we've had on the other two machines and an eye gaze RE kit. And I'm going to show you how those wire up here real quick. Again, it's, it's really, really simple. I'm actually going to switch sides here real quick. Lights, in this case, are bad. Okay, So we don't want the lights. So what we've got here is we have programmed in, and you'll see my lights turn off. We're going to look up here and normally close. So we've wired in our eye gaze RE kit on the normally close. Okay, so you can see that light's on when I press in that edge. And that top light turns on when I press that edge. We've, we've used these as an open and a close. Open edge, close edge. So all we've done is we've taken our white wire, which is our common. Actually, sorry, let's step back. Let's go to our dip switches. We are going to go to, um, this is a normally closed. So let me go ahead and change something real quick. Okay, so all we've done, all of our dip switches in this case are turned off. One through six are all turned off. You can see our lights are off, which is good. And we've taken our white wire, which is our common, and we've gone into their open. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm all messed up. I've taken my white wire, which is normally closed, because we're in the normally closed sensor, and I've gone into open only, normally closed. And I've taken my green wire, which is my normally closed two, because in this case, I'm, I have an open edge and a closed edge. I'm using both relays on this board. And I've gone into their photo close. So I'm using open only and what they call photo close, normally closed, with my relay one and my relay two. I've then, I've jumpered my commons inside of here and taken all the commons with just one wire, so I didn't have to push a bunch of wires into it, into the ground. And then I'm pulling my 12 volt DC power off the power there. So again, it is four wires. And now you'll see that I have an open edge. And that's triggering. And I have a close edge. And that's triggering. OK? Now, if I was to wire it into the uh, 10K, what I'm going to do is I'm going to press and hold open and stop. Because I have this wired in here. But I, I have not learned it in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I have my 50LR wired into it. I'm going to press and hold that. Wait for a beep. OK. It's beeping at me, and now it's going to be turning on and off. I want to make sure I don't turn off my mic there. It's going to be turning on and off my eye. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do this with just one hand. Hold on just a sec. OK. So you can see now, all I did was make sure when I pressed open and stop at the same time and it started beeping, it's searching for that device. I had to align my eye. So I just I held up this, this uh, reflector. I aligned them so it found it. I pressed stop, and it auto detects it. It's a really nice feature. And now you can see I now have a 10K device wired into the 10K input. And you can see that light going on and off when I break that beam. So just so you can know the wiring that we've done, again, it's four wires. I took my normally open my normally open i'm using the white wire because again anytime we use 10k technology we use normally open on our device normally open to their top sensor on the 10k terminal strip that they have my common green is going into my ground my common power so my relay common is going to ground my common power is going into the ground 
and then my 12 volt is going into the 12 volt power there. So very, very simple, and you can see all of my safety devices are working. That light goes out, all of my lights are out, that light goes on when I break it, that light goes on, that light goes on. So in this case, you can use 10K devices or normally closed devices. The normally closed terminal strip comes pre-programmed, you just wire them up and you're good to go. The 10K terminal strip is as easy as holding open and stop to hear those beeps. Align or turn on your, your safety devices and then press stop and it auto detects them. Okay, and the wiring again, for 10K, use normally open from my sensors. For normally closed, use normally closed from my sensors into the board. And we will jump to the wiring diagram for this as well, which is down here at the bottom. Zoom out a little bit. You can see we have a couple notes. On primary secondary installs, the transmitter must be powered from a non-monitored source. Any output on the matrix three other than the 12 volt DC supply on the UL sensor normally closed. So if you have a secondary, uh, primary secondary installation, you do not want to use the power from those terminal strips that we just showed you. And then we give you a little explanation of how to learn in the 10K, wire, the 10K wiring terminal. But you can see how simple this is, and this wiring follows exactly what we've just done. Our job has been to basically give you inexpensive product, inexpensive reliable products and make it easy for you to use in the field, and we're confident that we've done that. Um, any questions on any of these? Again, we've now gone over in 30 minutes high security dorking and maximum controls. Hopefully we've made it a little easier to understand. My advice would be First, always check your dip switches on the transmitters and receivers of the iGaze RE kit. Always make sure your dip switches are outputting either 10K or normally closed, or if you're using high security that your test C is turned on. And after you've checked your dip switches, just you need to train into your brain. If you're wiring into a 10K gate operator, you need to use our normally open. If you're wiring into a normally closed, you need to use our normally closed. If you get those things um, down, then most of the time you're gonna have success. The other thing is when you're learning in the iGaze RE safety edge kit transmitter to the receiver, press and hold the learn button on the receiver till you hear one beep for relay one, and then actually press the physical button on the transmitter. Do not try to trigger it with the edge. Once you learn it in with the physical button on the transmitter, the edge will work, but you first have to program it in that way. Any questions on any of this? Okay, we'll stick around for a couple minutes here. Uh, for any questions that you have coming in, but this will be posted on our YouTube channel hopefully today by the end of the day. But please, I'll stick around here and answer any questions you have. Thank you so much for attending.
So we're going to go ahead and sign off. Thank you again for attending. This will be up on YouTube within the next few minutes. Thanks, guys.